It's your boy, Mr. Dabs23, and I'm back with another video. Guys, if you're here, you probably already are a truck driver, you're aspiring to be a truck driver, or you work for Melton, the company that I'm proud to say that I work for. And if that's the case, like, comment, subscribe, and watch the rest of my videos. This is one of many more to come telling you about my company, Melton. <music> aspiring to come to Melton Truck Lines, uh, I would say give it a shot. It's a really good company so far. I looked online to, to look at reviews and try to find anything that would critique me that would stop it from coming. I couldn't find one thing, as in uh, me looking up other companies, as in Snyder, Siri, England, or uh, places like that. Trans Am Trucking. I heard a lot of, a lot of bad things about it. I couldn't find nothing for this company, so I decided to give them a shot. Um, so far, man, everything is great. Uh, if you were planning on coming to this company, there'll be a link at the bottom. Um, so you can email me and I can get you hired on. Okay, so uh, first off, uh, when I yeah. got here, well, they rented me a car to drive from Texas to uh, Tulsa, Oklahoma, is where their terminal is at. And that's where you would do. Um, your orientation at orientation is two weeks long um and they rent you this hotel room so i'm gonna be sitting in this hotel room for two weeks as you can see a very nice room everything uh is legit and great refrigerator microwave uh you got your bed and everything and uh he's packing up clothes to uh to stay here for two weeks uh, on monday i got this stuff written down so if you see me looking at my paper it's what i'm doing i can't remember all this stuff even though I already have my DOT physical, on Monday, they want you to have another DOT physical for them. So uh, that took three or four hours sitting in line. It was like 40 of us that came. Um, take the DOT physical, and um, when you get back, they feed you. Uh, they feed you every day. They have a personal chef at their terminal, and the food is really healthy. That's one thing that they pride themselves on and they dig about is to uh, make sure everybody and everything about them is healthy even the vending machines the pops their diet and uh, the chip machine all the chips or you probably don't get regular chips like these you're gonna get more like diet snacks um, nuts pecans and stuff like that that's what you'll have in those machines um, and we just kind of did little paperwork and everything on Monday. On Tuesday, they issue you your uh, your vest, your hard hat, your glasses, your knee pads, stuff that you're gonna need for flatbedding. So this is a flatbedding company. They do 100% flatbed. Um, the stuff ain't free. They charge you for all this stuff, but it's $32 for your vest, your hard hat, your glasses, your knee pads, and they take it out of your first check, which is nothing. You're gonna bring your own, but you're gonna you're gonna pay more outside than you will here uh, at Melton, which wasn't a big deal. So we did more little clerical work. We got all your stuff together on Tuesday. Wednesday, we did videos on load securement. We did videos on strapping, tarping, chaining, all that good stuff. And you did your drive test. Okay, so after we watch our videos for um, for strapping and tarping and stuff, we went outside. And so when you got introduced into what your main job is gonna be outside of driving, and that is tarping loads, strapping loads. Uh, I have, you can see it right here. This is what we did, uh, this was tarping and strapping. And up there, we did a little chaining and uh, they're not testing you, but they're showing you how to do it. After that, we went out on groups. We went to go drive the trucks for the first time. Now, it was a couple of guys that really didn't know how to drive a truck, so they sent them home. So basically, all they want you to do, they're gonna tell you, hey, exit here, exit there, drive here, drive there, and go speed limit. If you can't do that, then hey, you can't drive. They just send you home. So, like I said, our class started out at like 50. After Wednesday, when we did the driving test, the class is about down to about 40. And, um, well, as you see, I passed mine. I'm still here. 
rocking and rolling, baby. On Thursday, we did more of low securement. We did tarping. Man, I did not know those tarps were so heavy. They're, they're heavy. But uh, I guess once you do it, you can get better and better and better at it. And uh, it just comes more easy for you. So we tarp loads. We went over Atlas, the Atlas, and Trip Planet. They tell you not to use the GPS because the GPS will take you off road. And we're well, not off road, but it take you places where a truck is not supposed to go. So uh, if you want you to look through your atlas, you can look at the GPS as well, but confirm everything in your atlas before you take that because the GPS is basically made for cars. And this atlas will tell you everything that you uh, need to know about your trip. It'll tell you where low bridges are. It'll tell you um, what highways are made for trucks and what highways are not made for trucks. Um, and it just, it, it's got a lot more in it than a GPS is gonna tell you. Trip planning as well, it wants you to know before you even get in the driver's seat and drive your truck, you need to know the exact route you're gonna take, how long you're gonna take it, I mean, how long uh, the ride is gonna be, where are you gonna pull over for, uh, for your 10 hour break, your 34 hour reset, you need to know this stuff. You get on the road, get the drive, and you run out of hours, and hey, you gonna be sitting on the side of the road looking crazy. Uh, so they taught us that on Friday, we did a little bit more of tarping and load security. They're trying to drill this stuff in your head to make sure uh, that you know this stuff. So when you get out there with your trainer, uh, you don't be just oblivious and not know what's going on. So they're showing you everything you need to know. All you got to do is just listen, pay attention, take notes, and, um, and you're going to get it. There's a lot of people that still, to this day, we're in our second week now. Still to today, don't know how to tarp and don't know how to uh, secure loads. They weren't listening. When they give us time outside to go work and figure this stuff out, they're in the corner smoking cigarettes or laughing and talking. Hey, man, me, I'm getting it. I'm getting it, man, because... Uh, it's just me. I got a, I got a, I just I'm a hardworking person and I want to be one of the ones, which I always am, any job that I'm at, that just get it and go hard and just go over the top hard. That's me. Okay, enough about that. On Friday, oh, I was just talking about Friday. Also, we did, it, did, it took your payment information as in uh, your direct deposit. Uh, they did reimbursements, reimbursements. So if you went to, well, all of us, they got our CDL. Of course, you went through a um, CDL school. No matter what it costs you, Melton repays you back for that school. So as long as you bring your receipt, they're not going to pay you all at once. But they, if your school is $5,000, they're going to split that up in like five different payments. You probably get $1,000 on your check. Uh, well, not a thousand dollars in your check, probably two hundred dollars in your check each week until you equal up to the five thousand dollars. So you get reimbursements. Uh, if you paid, if they if they flew you out here and you had to pay for your baggage, they'll pay you back for that. If you uh, like me, I rented they rented me a car, I had to pay for gas, they re reimbursed me for that, even though I had a 2021 Volkswagen Jetta. It took me six hours to get here. I think it was 353 miles. That Jetta only cost me 17 bucks to get here to Tulsa. And uh, we all ever get a new car, get a Jetta. On Saturday, um, we did a couple of quizzes, which is kind of quizzes of stuff that we went over through the class, in class, through the week. And uh, they're not really grading you. They're just trying to see what do you know and if you was listening to anything going on in class, uh, I only missed like two. You, you grade your own paper. So uh, I only missed like two out of all the 50 questions. So I did pretty good. But like I said, so far, man, Melton's been really good for um, to us and for us. They're, they really take the time out to um, teach you everything that you need to know. So therefore, you get ready to get out there by yourself, you know, you should be good. The orientation is two weeks. This was the first week. Uh, 
Um, I haven't been to the terminal yet, so I can we can see it from the road. And it looks like a mall. That thing is nice. It's huge and it's nice. The trucks are no longer than three years old, so you get new trucks, uh, new equipment. And um, now we're going into week two. I will show you guys what we're doing in uh, a couple of slides at the end of this video. And um, next week, after I finish week two, I'm going to come back and do a recap on how uh, week two went. After week two, we go to week three, and then we're about ready to hop on our trainer's truck. And we're gone, man. 48 states. We'll be on the truck with our trainer, or they call him a mentor. Uh, everybody get their own personal mentor. We'll be on the truck with him for three to four weeks. And he just show us the ropes, and we'll he'll he'll drive, we'll drive with him, and you know. And after that, we get our own truck. <laughs> On way it goes up from there. But that's it for this video. Keep trucking, guys. Oh, and by the way, I'm gonna leave a link in my description. Um, it's my email address. Anybody want to come to Melton Truck Lines and need any more questions, get in the comment section or email me at jdabs23 at yahoo and i'll give you a link and get you guys a job out here or if you need any more questions or want to know more things uh get in my comment section uh that's it guys i'm out have a good one